Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, this time we're going to be doing interior lighting um, in V-Ray. So I'm using Cinema 4D R20 and V-Ray 3.7. Um, so I've set up this scene here and uh, rendered it out. And uh, my render came out looking like this. So I'm going to show you how to uh, achieve this effect from scratch. So let's do a new scene and I'm just using some of these uh, provided models inside of Cinema 4D so first off I'm going to just grab a building uh, let's find a house um, and sure we'll grab this house right here and let's find a position that we want to put the camera using some of these windows so we'll go somewhere right about, oops, zoomed out a little too far, right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and our V-Ray bridge, let's grab a physical camera and let's add a protection to this. But let me make sure I've got it in the position that I want. So let's just kind of play around here. We'll do something like, like this. And once I have it in position, we'll go to protection tab, tag. Um, so I'm gonna jump out of that camera now and just go around at the side of the house where that light's gonna be coming in. And um, my windows I have selected, I'm just gonna delete those polygons so that I can see out the windows. Um, to replace those, what you need to do is to grab a, uh, under light, we're going to grab a rectangular light, and we're going to put these over um, each of the windows. It might help to jump into um, a different view here to kind of line these up and size these appropriately. So we've got our um, lights set up, and now we need to make sure that the mode is set to um, portal light on each of these. So we're basically just creating a GI portal into the room. Um, once that's done, all we need to do is grab a physical sun and sky. Um, you know, I like to disable these as I'm editing, just to kind of so it doesn't look so so burned with light. Um, and then we're going to go back into our 3D models here and we're just going to grab, oh, I don't know, any bed here. And let's just kind of bring this into position. Oops. Where's my bed? There it is. And let's put that up against the wall and make sure we kind of have a position in between the two windows like that and I don't like the position of my camera so I'm going to adjust it down slightly and kind of looking up from the floor and I'll go back in and uh, put my protection tag back on. Um, let's go back in, let's go into our settings and make sure we're using the VR V-Ray bridge. Um, having troubles with the VFB window so we're not going to be using that we're just going to be using picture viewer my sampler type is bucket. Um, the threshold here is really what's going to help with denoising the scene, um, but I'm going to leave this as is. Um, I'm actually going to make this 0.03, which is going to make the noise a little bit, or make the noise a little bit more intense. But um, if you're going to render a full scene, you can put this down to like 0.01, and that'll take care of any noise. But for right now, for faster renders, we're just going to leave it at 0.03. And I might just put the um, subdivision in the GI brute G, force GI up a little bit. Um, everything else is fine for right now. Um, let's just do a quick uh, preview. I haven't messed with any camera settings yet, so let's see what we're looking looking at. So it's not terrible. Um, you can see that noise coming in, but uh, this gives a good indication that we're. 
looking okay as far as lighting goes if you wanted this dark of a scene and if you're going to add interior lights to it um, but it's a little bit dark so what we're going to do is go into our camera and I'm going to adjust the first thing I'm going to do is um, under lens parameters uh, we're going to actually I'm going to zoom out a little or make the frame a little bit wider we'll capture more of the scene um, and then I'm sorry. Oh yeah, down here under film ISO, we're gonna bump that up a little bit and F stop it down to something like two. And let's see what kind of result we get now. Now we get a lot more light coming in. It's almost too much. So we'll increase the shutter speed to counteract how much more light we have coming in to something like 400. And then the light um, the shadows are pretty intense, so to soften them a little bit, what we can do is we can increase the size of our sun. So we're going to make this 10. I'll make the color a little bit warmer, something more sun-like. And then I'm going to take the um, sky intensity multiplier and just turn that down to something like 45, maybe even 40. But let's start there. And let's just give it a quick preview. So I think this is a lot closer um, to how we want to light this interior room. Uh, however, you can see that there's a pretty good burn on the wall over there. Um, so what we'll do is uh, go back to our camera and let's adjust the settings a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go back to the ISO of 100 and I'm going to keep that as I said before, the, the sky multiplier, I'm going to leave that at 40%. And let's do a quick picture re preview here. Now we've got the shadow coming in, clearly defined there on the wall. It's not completely burning everything else. Um, it's coming in right there. And the scene's looking to be um, pretty well lit. Um, for comparison, when I up the um, the threshold here uh, on my bucket sampler, I rendered out the image above it, and you can see I've got a lot less noise now in the scene uh, versus this scene that's got a lot of noise. So uh, really important when you're doing your final render to mess with those settings. Um, uh, there's obviously other tools out there happy to find out what they are um, just been having issues in R20 getting the VFB window to work I'm um, hoping that in R21 um, the combination of the built-in denoiser with Cinema 4D R21 or getting hopefully a bug fix will will fix that problem but for now that gives you a pretty good example of how to light your interior scene f with uh, sunlight um, next up we'll, we'll talk about how to uh, light our scene with the uh, with the dome light so creating an actual HDR image outside thanks for watching